Hey everybody, if you don't have those pots and pans out, you need to get them out because it is time to start rattling your pots and pans. That's what I'm about to do. I have my eggs out and today we're going to make our deviled eggs for our Easter dinner. Let's get busy and do it. Our eggs are done and I have peeled them. Uh, patted them dry with a paper towel and place them in this bowl. Now I'm going to slice the eggs and I like to start at the small end um, and I'm, I'm going to uh, just pop that yellow out. I have an egg plate here. Uh, you can see it and I'll show it to you a little bit better in just a minute. Well let me go ahead and show it to you because it's really, whoops, excuse me, really pretty. My daughter Carol gave me this years and years ago and I looked on the back because I felt like several of you would want to know where it came from and it said Hallmark. So I don't know. I've had it for a long time so they probably don't carry this particular one anymore but if you need an egg dish then that might be a good place that you could um, look. So we're just popping the yellows out and I want you to tell me in the comments um, how you make your deviled eggs. I boiled eight eggs. I like to have um, extra yellow. I like to fill my egg whites uh, full and uh, have plenty of that good rich uh, yolk mixture to go in my deviled eggs. I don't throw away the extra whites. I put those in a plastic bag and I'll eat those for breakfast. So that's a good way to, to use those and not throw anything away. So now we're just finishing up as we're slicing our eggs and putting our yolks in this little bowl. So there we have those and now here are the extra ones. Um, so I'm just putting the yellow in and I'll put these in a plastic bag. And I have all of our ingredients right ready to go so that we don't waste time this morning. Whoops, that one broke, didn't it? Whoops, I am making noise, noise, noise. Okay, so now let's put it all together. The first thing that I'm going to do is to use this little hand chopper. Now you could use a fork. Um, you might even use your electric mixer if you just put all of your ingredients in here and mixed it up. But I like to use this little hand chopper and chop my egg yolks up first. So I'm just doing that real quickly. These are rich yellow egg um, yolks. I love good eggs. Everything's so expensive these days, but I try to always get the the best products that I can for the price. Okay, that looks good. Now, um, I like to use sweet relish in mine. If you don't like sweet relish, then you don't put it in there. You just leave it out. But I do like a little sweet relish in my uh, deviled eggs. So I'm just going to kind of mix that around a little bit. And now, I'm going to put a little bit of salt, and this is salt to taste, and then a little bit of pepper. Now, in my uh, deviled eggs, I like to use white pepper. It comes in several different brands. So I'm just putting some pepper. Stir that around a little bit. Let me wipe my hands off. And then I like to put a little dill. That kind of spices it up, too. So I'm just sprinkling a little dill around with that sweet relish and dill. That kind of gives it a sweet sour taste and that's delicious. So this is so quick and it's so fast and it's so, so easy. Now comes the mayo and I'm just using mayo. I happen to have this in my um, refrigerator. I know that all of you have your favorite brands and I'm just gonna use a tablespoon and put about two tablespoons. Now I may add a little bit more. So let's just mix this up and see how it's looking. You don't want it too soft, but you do want it um, soft enough. 
sometimes I get heavy handed and I put too much in my deviled eggs. But this looks really, really good. So just raking it around the sides, stirring it together. I cannot remember an Easter that we didn't have deviled eggs. It's just um, a staple when it comes to our menu for Easter at our house, and I feel like that it is for for most people. Um, so now I'm just going to take a teaspoon, and I'm going to fill um, the egg yolks, and I'll just pick it up, and I'll just place it in like that. So I'm just going to do this real, real quickly, and we'll talk um, while we do this. Just going to fill it. I like to kind of cover the white, maybe leaving a little bit of the white on there. So we'll do that. Um, Easter is one of the most special times of the year to me. I love Christmas, I love Thanksgiving. I love Thanksgiving because you don't have to worry about gifts, it's just food and family. I love Christmas because we celebrate Christ's birth and we give gifts to each other and we make a lot of candy and we eat and we enjoy fellowship with each other. But I love Easter because we're reminded, as we should be reminded every day, that Christ came into this world and he went to that rugged cross and he bore our sins and on the third day he rose again and that really and truly is what Easter is all about is that Christ died and that he is risen and that he lives within our hearts today and he's always beside us um, and I'm so thankful that I know him, and I pray that you do too. So as we continue um, making our eggs, you can tell that I'm kind of getting it on my hands, but I'll wipe them off. Usually I wear gloves. Today I didn't, but I did wash my hands really well. So we're just continuing to um, go around here like this. And see, I've got to have some egg yolk left. How about that? I could have put a little bit more. I know what I'll do with this. I'll eat this. <laughs> I may make me a sandwich. Boy, that'd be good, wouldn't it? Mmm. It's like some egg salad with the leftover deviled egg mix. How about that? Well, I didn't have much left, but it'll make a half a sandwich. And I'm just filling the little shells, egg, egg shells right here. So, now we're going to uh, come back and we're going to garnish it a little bit. Let me wipe my hands. Let me move our bowl here. This recipe, the way that I make my eggs, is in my cookbook. I know that you have your way of making them. And, um, and, that's, and I've told you this before. That's what I love about um, cooking shows. It's not that my way is the only way, um, because it certainly is not. I love to learn from you, and a lot of you share how you make your things, and it's just so meaningful to me, and I've learned so much from you. So now, when I go to uh, garnish mine, and I'm going to garnish mine with paprika, I don't take the bottle and just sprinkle. If I did, guess what? I would have it everywhere. So I just like to put some in my hand and I just like to kind of between my fingers kind of uh, put it on the eggs like this. It's It can be done quickly and then you don't have it all over your dish and in places that you don't want the paprika. So we're just putting the garnish on. And if you had some um, pickles or other um, things that you were serving 
um, you could just place it here in the middle of this little dish that I have. And guess what? Just like that, we have a plate of deviled eggs. So here we have our beautiful deviled eggs ready to serve. Look at that. Oh, what a special time Easter is. Thank you for joining me in my kitchen today. Thank you for helping me to make these deviled eggs. I pray that you and your family will have a blessed Easter and that we will all celebrate the true meaning of Easter, that our Lord is risen, He is alive, and that He lives within our hearts today.